Right. And just floating around on top of yourself again, doing another once-over. Is there anywhere else in your body that needs attention right now? My ears. Your ears? Okay. What's happening with your ears? Like... I get a lot of high pitched whistling mm-hmm. going on in my ears. Okay. And I'm being told that there's something I need to clear so that I can hear more clearly. Okay. What what is trying to be communicated with me? Okay. So how are we gonna do that? will send a golden white beam of light through my ears. Okay. That just flushes it all out. Perfect. That better? Yeah. I just released something and I just got a shooting pain right in my wrist at the same time. Okay, so what's in your wrist? Right right wrist. Oh, writing. Right wrist. Writing. Express. So what to do with expressing again? Through the written. Because I do handwrite my poetry, my chapters. Mm-hmm. So there's something there again about holding holding back and not hearing what's trying to come through me. Like there's a when bit you... of a block. There's a bit of a block in, oh, in when you say your right wrist, I suddenly see a long sleeve, like a man's arm. Do you see somebody else's oh, hand there? Someone yeah, that's my dad. That's your dad, is it? Yeah. Why is your dad in your arm? Um... There's some things he doesn't want me to write. Okay. But he doesn't need to worry because I don't need to do that anyway. You don't need to do that anymore, do you? No. All right, so can you just brush off your dad's arm and tell him that you're not going to write it because it's no longer relevant? Yeah. Has your dad, your dad's passed, Kenny, or not? Yeah, my dad passed when I was twenty-four. Okay, have we brought dad in before in a session? I don't think so. No. What was his name? Eddie. Eddie. Okay, and if Eddie's around, are you open to a bit of healing with Eddie? don't have to. Remember, you don't have to be polite. Yeah, go on. Let's, All right. Let's go for it. <laughs> so, Venra, can you please bring in Eddie if Eddie's around? And Eddie's willing to communicate with Katie? He just said, <laughs> I told you you were going to be a writer and I'm proud of you. No. But, but you don't have to write bad things about me. And <laughs> <laughs> ah. what does he want to let you know, Katie? He wants to let me know that he loved me and he was overprotective. Because he loved me, not because he was trying to hurt me. Okay. Let it go. 
Okay. You're okay. So you're safe. You can really set in motion. Remember, this is, you're talking to the healed version of your dad, not the dad that yeah. you saw in his lifetime. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm releasing that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you've got a lot of stored up tension about who he was. What else does Eddie want to let you know today? What does he have to tell you? <laughs> he loves the he loves that we're doing past life regression because if I remember, he's the first person to ever talk to me about past lives and reincarnation. Oh, was he? <laughs> There you go. And he went to see Faith Healers, which I didn't know what that meant then. And uh, and he can see that I'm taking this further than he ever could. Ah. Very interesting. And, I, and, uh, and he's just popped in memories of him actually in past lives being the past. A German pilot. Mm -hmm. and And other things that he came through. In front of me. Wow, okay. He's just reminded me and nudged me that do this stuff that you believe now. I believed it all then and nobody believed me. Right. Uh -huh. Nobody understood me. Nobody. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. That's why he drank. As he was lost in purgatory. What do you mean he was lost? Yeah. He felt like he was in purgatory when he was in this lifetime with me. Oh. And and he needed to leave because it was too painful to look at what he'd done to his family. Oh dear. So that's why he drank himself to death. Oh dear. But it wasn't because he didn't love us. It was because he was misunderstood. Okay. And lonely and confused. Okay. And hated people. <laughs> and did he get any relief when he did his regressions? Like, was that what they were healing him with? No, no because he was trying to do it himself. Then. Oh, okay. So he saw things, but he didn't get professional help, and so it wasn't. It was just a story without the healing. Yeah, he didn't have. He went to see faith healers, but he didn't go. He didn't see anyone go into past life regressions, but he believed okay. it. Yeah. <clears throat> and what does he know now about his lifetime with but, you? Um... <laughs> That it was exactly perfect. Oh. Exactly perfect to bring me here now. Oh. And that he'd go through it all again, but he wouldn't cause the pain he did to us as much. <laughs> and he still think it was still perfect because you wouldn't be. Exactly where you are now. Mm -hmm. And he loves it that I'm happy. Because he never could be. And he just said, heal yourself and you heal us all. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And Katie, his struggles in this lifetime that he says now in hindsight were perfect, were they part of his soul journey or was that a specific soul contract to help you? Yeah, I think it was. Okay. Designed that way. Okay. So can you forgive him now? Yeah, I forgave him a long time ago. <laughs> Okay, no, but I mean, yeah, so we, there's different levels of forgiveness. So can you give oh, your dad yeah. a hug? Can you yeah. give your dad a hug? 
Yeah. Yeah. He's off now. Okay. All right. And Katie, know that when you go into meditation, if you need to hear or clear or dispel any myths that your mind conjures up about your dad, know that you can just go into meditation, take yourself to the garden and bring him forth, okay? Yeah? You can get messages from him anytime and he can clear up what was reality versus what was constructed or construed for your benefit, okay? Yeah. All right. Now I just want to call in Archangel Raphael one more time because that was quite emotional. I just want you to lay back and receive a little bit of emotional healing to end the session with. And if there are any other angels around that wish to support Raphael today with their rays, most welcome to come now. Okay, and I just want you to look over to Venera and to Leo and mm. get a thumbs up fr from them if they think we have completed the session and what they wanted us to do today. Yeah. Yes, okay. All right, so thank you, Leo. Thank you, Venera. Thank you, Archangel Michael, Raphael, Zadkiel, and everyone else who appeared that we didn't mention today. Thank you also to your dad, Eddie. And Kenny, I just want you to drift away, float away, drift away and float away, and in your own time, feeling heavier and heavier, returning to the earth, feeling the heaviness of the human body sitting on the chair. And when you're ready, you can return to the room and open your eyes.